Rossif School. First Semestral Assessment 2019. Primary 3 Mathematics. Rossife School First Semestral Assessment 2019 Primary 3 Mathematics Section A Question 1 In which of the following numbers does the digit 6 stand for 600? The number 5680 has the digit 6 stand for 600. The answer is 3. Question 2. What is the product of 7 and 9? The product of 7 and 9 will be multiply 7 by 9 and the product is 63. The answer is 4. Question 3. Divide 288 by 8, and the quotient is, missing number. Divide 288 by 8, and the quotient is 36. The answer is 2. Question 4 Answer questions 4, and 5 based on the information below. The following are items sold in a bakery. What is the difference in price between a loaf of bread, and a slice of cake? The difference in price between a loaf of bread, and a slice of cake, will be, subtract $1.80 from $4.50, and the difference is $2.70. The answer is 3. Question 5. Miss Chu went to the bakery. She bought a cupcakes, a slice of cake, and a loaf of bread. How much did she pay in all? The cost of a cupcakes, a slice of cake, and a loaf of bread will be, add $3.20, to $4.50, and to $1.80, and the sum is $9.50. The answer is 4. Question 6. Which one of the following has the same value as 4825? Answer 1. Add 4,000, to 800, to 2, and to 5, and the sum is 4,807. Answer 2. Add 400, to 800, to 20, and to 5, and the SSUM is 1,225. Answer 3. Add 4,000, to 800, to 20, and to 5, and the sum is 4,825. Answer 4. Add 400, to 80, to 20, and to 5, and the sum is 505. The answer is 3. Question 7. Which of the following is the greatest? Eight thousand five hundred and sixty one is equal to add eight thousand to five hundred to sixty one, and the sum is eight thousand five hundred and sixty one. Eight thousand and six hundred is equal to add eight thousand to six hundred, and the sum is eight thousand six hundred. Eight thousand five hundred and sixty nine is equal to 
add 8,000, to 500, to 69, and the sum is 8,569. 8,000, and 500, is equal to, add 8,000, to 500, and the sum is 8,500. The greatest number is 8,600. The answer is 2. Question 8. Find the difference between 7201, and 468. The difference between 7201, and 468 will be, subtract 468 from 7201, and the difference is 6733. The answer is 1. Question 9 Kai Ling had 824 stickers on her collection at first. Her mother them gave her 258 stickers as a present. How many stickers did she have in the end? The number of stickers Kai Ling had will be, add 824 to 258, and the sum is 1082. Kai Ling had 1,082 stickers in the end. The answer is 3. Question 10. A fly has six legs. How many legs do seven flies have? The number of legs seven flies had will be, multiply six by seven, and the product is 42. The answer is 2. Question 11. City has 6 pencils. John has 6 times as many pencils as City. How many pencils does John have? One unit is equal to 6 pencils. 6 units will be, multiply 6 by 6, and the product is 36 pencils. The answer is 3. Question 12. Staller sold 72 bowls of noodles. It sold 9 times as many bowls as stall B. How many bowls of noodles did the two stalls sell altogether? The number of bowls of noodles stall B sold will be, divide 72 by 9, and the quotient is 8. The total number of bowls of noodles both stalls sold will be, add 72 to 8, and the sum is 80. The answer is 1. Question 13. 54 tens, divide by 9, is equal to, missing number, tens. Fifty-four tens will be, multiply fifty-four by ten, and the product will be five hundred and forty. Divide five hundred and forty by nine, and the quotient is sixty. The number of tens in sixty will be, divide sixty by ten, and the quotient is six. The answer is two. Question fourteen. What is the least number of coins needed to make $2.80? Using $1.50, and $0.05 coins. In order to use the least amount of coins, we will need to less off $2.80 from the greater value of coins first. The number of $1 coins use will be Subtract 2, $1 from $2.80, and the difference is 80 cents. 2, $1 coins are needed. The number of 50 cents coins use will be, subtract 50 cents, from 80 cents, and the difference 30 cents. 1, 50 cents coin is needed. The number of 20 cents coins use will be, subtract 20 cents, from 30 cents, 
and the difference is 10 cents. 1, 20 cents coin is needed. The number of 10 cents coins use will be subtract 10 cents from 10 cents, and the difference is zero dollars. One 10 cents coin is needed. Total coins needed will be five. The answer is one. Question 15. The picture graph shows the favorite color of a group of students. The bar graph shows the above information. Which bar is drawn incorrectly? The number of children's favorite color is blue, will be, multiply 6 by 2, and the product is 12. The number of children's favorite color is pink, will be, multiply 5 by 2, and the product is 10. The number of children's favorite color is green, will be, multiply 3 by 2, and the product is 6. The number of children's favorite color is yellow, will be, multiply 7 by 2, and the product is 14. The bar for yellow is incorrect. The answer is 4. Rossyth School. First Semestral Assessment 2019. Primary 3 Mathematics. Section B. Question 16. In 4085, the digit zero is in the blank place. The digit zero is in the hundreds place. Question 17. Arrange the following numbers in order beginning with the smallest. 8302. 8032 8352 8320 As all the numbers have same digit 8 in the thousands place, we shall look at the hundreds place. The smallest number in the hundreds place is digit 0, therefore, 8032 will be the smallest number. The rest of the numbers have digit 3 in the hundreds place. We shall look at the tens place. The smallest in the tens place is digit 0, followed by digit 2, and lastly digit 5. The numbers will be arranged in this order. 8032 8302 8320 8352 Question 18. What is the missing number in the box? The difference between 4,328 and 4,278 will be subtract 4,278 from 4,328, and the difference is 50. The difference between 4278 and 4228 will be subtract 4228 from 4278 and the difference is 50. Let us assume that the difference between the two numbers is 50. The missing number will be subtract 50 from 4228 and the difference is 4178. Let us do a cross check on the answer. The difference between 4,178 and 4,128 will be subtract 4,128 from 4,178, and the difference is 50. The missing number is 4,178. Question 19. Add 4,352 to 3,448 and the sum is equal to, missing number. Add 4,352, to 3,448, and the sum is equal to, 7,800.
Question 20. What is the remainder when 267 is divided by 4? Divide 267 by 4, and the quotient is 66. Remainder 3. The remainder is 3. Question 21. Study the table below and answer questions 21 and 22. Charlene bought a packet of fries and a glass of ice lemon tea. How much did she pay the cashier? The cost of a packet of fries and a glass of ice lemon tea will be add $3.50 to $2.25. And the sum is $5.75. Charlene paid $5.75 to the cashier. Question 22 Annie bought a chicken burger. She gave the cashier $10. How much change did she receive? The amount of change received will be subtract $4.95 from $10, and the difference is $5.05. Annie received $5.05 .05 of change. Question 23 Answer questions 23 and 24 based on the information below. The number of laptops sold by four shops on a certain day is shown in the table below. Mary drew the bar graph below to show the above information. What is the number of laptops sold in Shop A? Complete the bar graph for Shop A. The number of laptops sold in Shop A will be subtract 43 from 16, from 4, and from 8, and the difference is 15. The bar graph is shown in red. Question 24. Which shop sold twice as many laptops as Shop B? Shop B sold a total of 8 laptops. Twice the amount of what Shop B sold will be. Multiply 8 by 2, and the product is 16. The shop that sold twice as many laptops as Shop B will be. Shop D. Question 25. There were 1,543 boys, and 1,189 girls in a school. How many more boys, than girls were there? The difference in number between boys and girls will be. Subtract 1,189, from 1,543, and the difference is 354. There were 354 more boys than girls. Question 26 The difference between two numbers is 1,600. The smaller number is 2,357. What is the other number? The other number will be Add 2,357, to 1,600, and the sum is 3,957. The other number is 3,957. Question 27. Mr. Lim had some candies in his shop at first. He sold 837 candies, and had 313 left in his shop. How many candies did he have at first? The number of candies at first will be at 837 to 313, and the sum is 1,150. Mr. Lim had 1,150 candies at first. Question 28. 
Question 28 What is the missing digit in the box? 7 2 9 Multiply by 7 and the product is 5 1 Missing number 3 In the ones place. Multiply 9 by 7 and the product is 63. The digit 3 will remain at the ones place, and the digit 6 will be carry over to the tens place. In the tens place. Multiply 2 by 7, and the product is 14. Add 14 to 6, and the sum is 20. The digit 0 will be in the tens place, and the digit 2 will be carry over to the hundreds place. The missing number is 0. Question 29 Jimmy arranged 424 books on four bookshelves equally. How many books were there on each bookshelf? The number of books on each bookshelf will be divide 424 by 4, and the quotient is 106. There were 106 books on each bookshelf. Question 30 How many nines are there in 108? The number of nines in 108 will be divide 108 by 9, and the quotient is 12. There are 12 nines in 108. Question 31 Vincent had 75 sweets. He gave three sweets to each friend. He had no sweets left. How many friends did he give the sweets to? The number of friends he gave will be divide 75 by 3, and the quotient is 25. He gave his sweets to 25 friends. Question 32 Below are the ticket charges for the Muppet Show. Annie paid a total of $45 for one adult, and one child for the Muppet Show. How much was the cost of an adult ticket? The cost of an adult ticket will be, will be subtract $12.40 from $45, and the difference is $32.60. The cost of an adult ticket was $32.60. Question 33 The number of erasers in bag A is five times as many as in bag B. There is a total of 18 erasers in both bags. How many erasers must be transferred over from bag A to bag B for both bags to have an equal number of erasers each? There is a total of six units of erasers in bag A, and bag B. Two units needs to be transferred from bag A, to bag B, so that both bags will have equal number of erasers. Six units is equal to 18 erasers. One unit will be, divide 18 by 6, and the quotient is 3. Two units will be, multiply 2 by 3, and the product is 6. Six erasers must be transferred over to bag B. Question 34 Mother takes two tablets three times a day every day. How many tablets will mother take after five day? The number of tablets take in one day will be multiply two by three, and the product is six. The number of tablets take in five days will be multiply six by five, and the product is thirty. Mother takes 30 tablets in 5 days. Question 35 Peter had 58 pencils. 
Agnes had seven times as many pencils as Peter. How many more pencils did Agnes have than Peter? The number of pencils Agnes had more than Peter will be subtract one unit from seven units, and the difference is six units. One unit is equal to 58. Six units will be multiply 58 by 6, and the product is 348. Agnes had 348 more pencils than Peter. Rossyth School First Semestral Assessment 2019 Primary 3 Mathematics Section C Question 36 Bala wants to buy a bicycle that costs $468. He has $148, and his parents gave him $209. How much more money does he need to buy the bicycle? The total amount of money Bala have will be add $148 to $209, and the sum is $357. The amount of money Bala need will be subtract $357 from $468, and the difference is $111. Bella needs $111 more to buy the bicycle. Question 37 Amy baked 425 muffins. Bella baked 180 fewer muffins than Amy. Cedric baked 383 more muffins than Bella. A. How many muffins did Bella bake? B. How many more muffins did Cedric bake than Amy? The number of muffins Bala baked will be subtract 180 from 425, and the difference is 245. A. Bala baked 245 muffins. The number of muffins Cedric baked will be add 245 to 383 and the sum is 628. The difference in number of muffins between Cedric, and Amy will be, subtract 425 from 628, and the difference is 203. b. Cedric baked 203 more muffins than Amy. Question 38 There were 587 children at a funfair. There were 175 fewer girls than boys. How many girls were at the funfair? To find the equal number of girls and boys at the funfair, we shall less off the additional 175 boys from the group. The equal number of girls and boys will be subtract 175 from 587, and the difference is 412. The number of girls will be, divide 412 by 2, and the quotient is 206. There were 206 girls at the funfair. Question 39 Students in primary 3F took part in a survey. The number of students who likes apples, is thrice the number of students who likes oranges. The number of students who likes grapes is the greatest. A. The bar graph shows the above information. Write the missing fruits in the boxes. B. Find the total number of students in the class. The number of students like apples will be, multiply 4 by 3, and the product is 12. A. 16 students like grapes and 12 students like apples. The number of students like grapes is 16. The number of students like watermelon is 6. The number of students like oranges is 4. The number of students like apples is 12. The total number of students will be, add 16 to 6, 
to 4, to 12, and the sum is 38. b. There are 38 students in the class. Question 40. Ryan and Maria had the same number of stickers at first. Ryan gave 234 stickers away, and Maria bought another 136 stickers. A. How many more stickers did Maria have than Ryan in the end? B. Ryan had 467 stickers left. How many stickers would Ryan have at first? The number of sticker Maria had more than Ryan will be. Add 234 to 136, and the sum is 370. A. Maria had 370 more stickers than Ryan in the end. The number of sticker Ryan had at first will be. Add 467 to 234, and the sum is 701. B. Ryan had 701 stickers at first. If you enjoy our video, please do click on like and share, and subscribe to our YouTube channel.